Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Alright, in the last part, we just barely defeated the barrier trio in time, and now the path to the needle is open. Oh no, these guys again? Hurry, Lucas, pull it, quick, before they can do anything. Don't just stand there and stare at it, pull the needle, let's go. Well, I guess we're just gonna stand there and stare, huh? Ah, uh, this is not gonna land. Alright, come on, we can take you guys. I know we're about dead from that boss fight, but we can do it. Come on, let's go. Okay, there's six of you. I don't care. We can do it anyway. Uh, wait, what? Oh no, it's that guy again. Yep, we've seen him before back on Snowcat Mountain. And, uh, and a couple other places too, but... I think that was the last time we saw him. Come on, say something. What, you want to fight too? Come on, let's bring it. Oh, holy crap, jeez. Oh yeah, I see how it is. Strike after we just had that big boss battle. <laughs> the big mess is applaud, and that's funny. So, it looks like they got another one, and the Masked Man is the one that's pulling the needles all along, so... We kind of suspected, but now it's definitely confirmed. Hey, you! Just how long are you going to sleep there? <laughs> Alright, we just got struck by lightning, okay? We're a little bit tired. That was surprisingly disappointing. Lucas, your heart wasn't the one passed on to the Dark Dragon. That Masked Man's was. But there's nothing we can do about that. Fate is fate. But it's odd. I should be sensing that masked man's heart coming from the earth, but I'm not feeling anything at all. I'm about to disappear now, so Ocho will take care of the rest. I instructed him to wait for you at the beach. You can ride on his back all the way back to Tazmilly. I'll give you my razor and lipstick. Take good care of them, almost as if they were me. Okay, so we get Missy's Memento. Another one to add to our collection. Oh wait, I almost forgot something very important. Could you give this to Ionia for me? Uh, okay, sure, I guess. In Tazmilly, I believe there is a map-loving and map-owning fellow, yes? I think you'll know where Ionia's house is, so hurry there, take this to Ionia. Ah, Mapson, huh? He's gonna get some screen time again. Oh, I'm disappearing! Farewell! Alright, and with that, Mixolydia has disappeared, so we're starting to run out of match gypsies now. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up before we uh, die from the random battles. I'm just gonna beta everybody. Okay, good enough. So let's get going. Whoa, holy crap, this guy's like zoomed around at the top there for a minute. That was, that was pretty cool. Alright, so as we go back down, there's actually, I think there's a present over here that I missed. Uh, I think it's over here to the left. Oh yeah, I got behind these guys. Alright, so let's see what's back here. Yep, there it is. This is a vigor stick. Wow, this actually might have been good to have. Uh, let's see here. Yep. <laughs> oh, so much for that spiky weapon I just bought, huh? At least we got one battle in with it. Alright, so now we're gonna head back down to the beach. Uh, there's nothing to, like, teleport you there or anything. You actually have to walk all the way back through. Uh, which, which, I don't know, I guess it's not really that bad. Because we'll actually get to see the real Tain Tain Island, not, you know, crazy mushrooms. Okay, yeah, those guys get really annoying when they use uh, Hypnosis Omega and, like, everybody falls asleep. Good thing we have that ribbon on Kumatora, man. Alright, and we are gaining some serious levels. I mean, I told you we'd be gaining pretty fast in this chapter. Alright, let's go ahead and check everybody out real quick. I think we're all in the 40s. Ah, oh, no, nope, Duster's still at 39. Yeah, 42, 41, and 42. So, I mean, we've come quite a long way since the beginning of this chapter, and there's a lot of battles around this place. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're definitely prone to getting a lot of experience here. All right.
Alright, there's an item guy here. That was uh, not Mayor Pusher, but rather an item guy. That was not a uh, little car there. That was actually his little uh, stall or whatever. Okay, so as we come back down through here, we're going to see all the same enemies that we saw before. Uh, but, you know, they all have, like, different uh, backgrounds and music and stuff. Defense down Omega. Eh, probably won't be used that much. Secrets ahead. No trespassing. Uh, wait a minute. That was a hot spring sign before. Let's check this out. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's disgusting. Oh, and we waited around in that. Jeez, no wonder Mixolydia kept telling us we stunk. Jeez, man. Alright, yeah, so we can come back here, and this is the actual hot spring, but this is, of course, inaccessible before, uh, because it was just a giant mirror before, which told us we were looking handsome, so. Alright, that's the real hot spring. Interestingly enough, we can still actually wait around in the trash if we want, but I, I think I'd just rather not, let's just say. Tain Tain hot spring further ahead. Be careful not to slip and fall in the sludge. Yeah, sludge, that's a good word for it. Ugh, alright, now that I'm officially creeped out by that. Alright, this is another one of those dragonfly things here. He's about trying to fight us. Alright, so yeah, this is what the real Tain Tain Island looks like. Definitely a much better place uh, <laughs> than the uh, first time we came through. As you can see, the trash cans were actually presents so, that we opened on the way through here. Alright, now this guy here, uh, the monkey walrus, uh, is actually called a monk walrus. Uh, he has a really, really slim chance of dropping uh, Kumatora's mystical gloves. So, I'm gonna fight each of them on the way back, and maybe we'll get them. We probably won't, but... But either way, I'll probably spend a little bit of time off-screen uh, grinding for it if we don't get it. Uh, uh, but chances are, I probably won't get it uh, just, you know, running through this area here. Um, so, uh, you, you'll, I'll have to just do it off-screen, I'm sure. Okay, so let's get going here. Uh, Dragonfly again. Alright, so it's it's a little bit of a walk, actually, back to the beach. Uh, we're gonna have to fight quite a bit of things on the way there. And like I said before, Freeze Gamma makes quick work of those guys. Alright, ooh, we got some more Monk Alruses here. Alright, didn't get any drops from that battle, but <laughs> it's not like I'm expecting to get it or anything. Alright, oh wow, even more. Alright, you might actually want to be careful around those guys. I mean, they can do over 100 damage uh, with a single attack, so it's a good idea to keep your characters above like a certain threshold, above like 115 or so. Alright, so let's see, where are we at then? Oh, alright, we're already back to the Energizing Mushrooms. So, that's pretty much it for Tain Tain Island. Uh, we're on the way out now, we're about to reach the beach. And there we are, there's Ocho. So this guy's gonna give us a ride back to Tatsumoli Village, which is good because I'd hate to have to go back to that stupid ocean. Mixolydian instructed me to take you back to Tatsumoli. I know I'm an octopus, but please get on. Uh, sure thing. <laughs> oh, I didn't even say he's got taxi on the back of his head. That's funny. Oh, bony. Sorry. It's nothing to hold on to, but hold on tight. Yeah, I'm surprised there's enough room on there for all four of us. <laughs> Alright, so now Ocho is going to take us back through the ocean. We don't have to worry about oxygen and getting those machines and fighting battles and uh, all that stuff. So. Alright, pretty glad to have him taking us through there. It's the oxygen machines. Good work today. Yeah, good work today. See you later. Oh, that's weird. I thought they just stood in one place. I didn't know they actually walked around and talked to each other. Alright, so we ride our octopus all the way back. And we're now back in Tasmali Village. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Okay, so as you'll also notice, the theme here has sort of changed. It's a little bit more somber now. Still the same melody, which I think is awesome. But, uh, you know, it definitely doesn't have the same jump in its step that it did before. I love the ocean. I love the beach. I want to stay here forever. I'll just lie around a beach comb and stuff. You want some R&R too? Yeah, we probably should, actually. Get a nice free heal here. Alright, awesome. And Bronson, you're, you're looking a, a little bit burnt there, buddy. You might want to consider actually going somewhere else. Yep, there's a safe frog. Alright, so yeah, I mean, like I said, you can tell this place definitely has a different feel about it now that we've come back. And, uh, you know, we haven't actually gotten to explore the, uh, the little village here. As far as storyline purposes is concerned, I mean, I, I did go through it a little bit uh, earlier, 
when we didn't really have to. Hey, Alec, how's it going? Oh, Lucas, slowly but steadily, the people of Tazmilly have been heading into the big city. Didn't know you guys were still here, though. What's that? You're looking for Ionia's house. It's certainly not nearby, I can tell you that. Remember my little cabin in the mountains where I used to come visit? So what's to that old cabin as Argilla Pass? You can get to Ionia's place from there. Whatever the case, probably be a good idea to take a map. I ran into maps in just a minute ago. I might still be around here somewhere. You should get them to mark your map for you. Yep, probably should. Alright, so yeah. We've got a sheriff's office is still up here. Wanted! My generation! It appears to be an old concert poster put up by someone. But... Who? Ah, I get it. Oh, wow, I never caught that before. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, sweet. All right, uh, Reggie's tent's still blown to pieces here. I feel bad for the guy. I wonder where he went to, anyway. Did he go into the big city, too? Need something from the map-loving and map-owning map center? Must be a map, yes? I don't know anything about this Ionia person, but I do know where our Gila Pass is. Let me see your map for a second. There. This mark shows our, where our Gila Pass is. All right. Bye now. This has been the map-loving and map-owning map center. Cool. All right, so, hey, it's the map of Tasmanian Village. It's been a while since we've looked at this, huh? All right, so, yeah, as you can see, Argilla Pass is to the west of Alex's house, which is uh, all the way up there at the very top. So uh, that's where we're going next. We're going back up uh, through the forest and everything again. Man, lots of memories around, huh? Oh, look, it's Mayor Pusher. I'm the mayor here, which means I'll be one of the last people to leave for the big city. Even so, I really want to go. I should just dish this miserable little village and be done with it. Oh, Lucas, you didn't hear me talking to myself just now, did you? I think I did, actually. All right, so yeah, I mean, as you can see, there's not very many people around here. I'm stuck in this village because no one invited me to go with them. When did everyone suddenly get together to discuss leaving for the big city? Yeah, I mean, the square is very unpopulated. There's not a lot of people just standing around here anymore. All right, let's see. Let's check some of the houses here. No one seems to be home. Remember, that was uh, Abbott and Abby's place. So they've left for the city. No one seems to be home. Let's see how the auto ends doing. I was so scared of being forced to pay my hotel bill that I hole up inside my room. Finally, I worked up to resolve the resolve to not care what happened, so I stepped outside and everyone was gone. Seems this hotel now belongs to me. That's what they mean by stepping outside your comfort zone lead to greater things. Understand, kid? Learn by my example. Went from a man with no money whatsoever to a hotel king. Welcome. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I mean, there's literally like nobody here anymore. This place is almost a ghost town. Nobody in this room. Cle oh, this is a cleaning supply closet now. I remember there were people talking about croquette rolls earlier in there. Nobody in here either. So, I mean, this place, I mean, it's been completely cleaned out. It looks like everybody's moved on to the big city, huh? I might as well check in a few more places. Wait, nope. Okay, I was gonna say we can't go in. There's Thomas. Hey, glad you're still here. Customers have all but disappeared, and even my own family's headed into the city. Not me, though. Can't just stop and leave my store behind. Would you like to buy something? Yeah, let's see what you got. You probably nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, the old kid's shirt and hat equipment. Man, that's... <laughs> that's crazy. Alright, and this is Bronson's place. He obviously won't be here because he's at the beach, but... Alright, so yeah, I'm pretty much just going to spend the remainder of this episode just sort of, you know, checking out the place. I can't believe anyone would want to leave this village, but it's starting to get hard for me to stay, too. Oh, come on, old guy. You know you want to stay here. This pig mask here still. Slowing on, Locus, not such a bad guy after all. Feels less and less like a stranger as time goes on. I like this mask guy. He knows the store. He's got a nice mask, too. <laughs> all right, then. All right, so I think it would be very appropriate. Your dad's still looking for Klaus, even after all this time. Flint says he doesn't want to go to the big city. Yeah, I'd imagine that. You know, the other villagers have left. I've seen. Alright, so I think it's rather appropriate that now that we're back in Tasmeli Village, that we go ahead and just end the part here in Lucas's house. So, alright, we've gotten the location of Argilla Pass from Mapson, and uh, in the next part, that's where we're going to be going, searching for Ionia's house. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.